I have lost almost 60 pounds and today's video I'm going to be showing you three high fiber lunches that I have eaten to help get this weight off. Now I am no stranger to the struggles of trying to lose weight. I remember being 60 pounds heavier here and just feeling so lost and so confused about what to eat, how much to eat. So in the spirit of that, I am here to help you guys not experience the same struggles that I did. So right now I'm running a tremendous sale on both of my brand new weight loss recipe eBooks. They both are basically like the blueprint to how I got this weight off. My first brand new ebook is Shake Off the Weight, which contains over 22 fiber protein recipe shakes. These shakes were an amazing huge part of my weight loss journey, as well as zero overt fats. All these recipes are high fiber, low fat, and the exact foods I was eating to get the first 30 pounds off. So if you want to check out that sale, the link is in the description box below. Oh, and by the way, a free giveaway to the first three people that click the link in the description box. Good luck. Okay, so the first lunch I'm going to share with you guys are my amazing fresh spring rolls. When I tell you I could eat these every day, it is no joke. So here are just some of my favorite toppings I like to throw inside of them. So for me, I like to just chop up some fresh cucumber, some grated carrots. I've got some sprouts there, as well as fresh herbs. I'm telling you fresh herbs are where it's at in this way of eating when it comes to flavor. That's some mint as well as basil. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then just some air fried tofu in the middle of the plate there. So here we're just going to go ahead and soak our rice paper. Now you do not need to soak these long, literally maybe only five to seven seconds or so. I guess it just kind of depends on how warm or hot your water is, um, but you don't want them to be, you know, disintegrating or falling apart in your hand just soft enough that they are, you know, moldable, flexible. And some of you might be wondering where you can buy these probably at your local grocery store. That's where I grab mine. I just usually go in the rice section and that's where I find them. And I should add, that they are super cheap and a lot come in the package so this is a really really great way to save money and have a delicious healthy lunch all at the same time so here after the rice paper is soft enough i just lay it flat on a plate this is not going to look like anything fancy i am no professional at rolling these but i'm just going to show you guys how i do it so i first start by lining my roll with whatever greens i'm using i have really been loving using sprouts in place of lettuce but of course you don't need to do that you can go ahead and use some romaine lettuce or you know even iceberg lettuce would be amazing in these and then I just go ahead and just top it with you know all of my chopped up toppings now one thing I will say is that you do want to make sure that whatever you're putting inside of it that you want to make sure that it's chopped fine enough or small enough to comfortably fit in these so I've already went through what my toppings are and I do want to stress that you are free to use whatever you like it's whatever floats your boat there are no hard rules when it comes to this because we all want to enjoy what we're eating now if if you are interested in the exact recipe of what I'm using in these spring rolls, then I'm going to be posting all of the exact ingredients and recipes that I'm showing you in today's video down in my description box below. So a lot of you like to go down there and just take a quick screenshot. That way you can save it to your phone. So yeah, feel free to take a quick peek down there after the video. So basically after I've thrown, you know, all of my veggies or my toppings inside these rolls, I just like to fold them in at the sides and then roll them up the other way. So basically you're rolling it like a burrito. That's how I do it and honestly it takes me no time at all. These also hold up pretty well in the fridge too so oftentimes I'll just make a whole whack of them and have them in the fridge because they make the perfect to-go lunch. So when I'm on the go I'm so excited when I can just go in my fridge and pull these bad boys out and bring them with me and because they're cold no need for a microwave or anything so they just make such an easy lunch. And here I just whipped up my simple powdered peanut butter ginger soy sauce dressing and oh my gosh does it hit the spot. I cannot wait wait for you guys to try this one. You are going to love it. Okay, so the second lunch I'm going to show you is actually a brand new recipe out of Shake Off the Weight. So this is my blueberry banana fiber protein shake and it is delicious. So I specifically wanted to show you guys this as a lunch because oftentimes you'll hear me talk about having it for breakfast, which is true. Most of the time I do like to have my fiber protein shakes as my breakfast, but there have been multiple times that I will also have it for lunch. Why? Because once again, it makes the perfect portable meal. So when I'm running the door or I know I'm not going to be home to actually whip up something fancier for lunch. A fiber protein shake is the perfect lunch because I know it's going to keep me full for hours until dinner. 
Okay, and the third lunch I'm going to show you is a bit of a heavier one if you're feeling particularly hungry, and it's a warm dish. Since my last two have been cold, kind of fresher lunches for summer, I wanted to show you one that when I'm feeling for something on the warm side, you know, a little bit heartier and heavier, this is an amazing easy go-to. I also wanted to just show you guys how easy it is to kind of just throw a bunch of different things together and have an incredible meal out of it. It doesn't have to be complicated. So once again, you'll be able to find all the ingredients to this recipe in my description box below so don't worry about having to write everything down right now um, so here I'm just throwing in some onion that I just used a little bit of water to saute it we don't use any oil you know I try to keep things as low fat as possible and that truly has been the ticket to getting this weight off removing oils also keeping you know my overt fats nice and low eating foods just in their natural state as close to nature as possible and high fiber Honestly, that combination of things has been the ticket to getting 57 pounds off. So there I just sauteed some onions, one carrot. I chopped up a potato in really, you know, small bite-sized pieces. And there I was just showing you some frozen quinoa that I had because I like to keep a lot of my starches prepped and in my freezer. So then it just makes for a really quick lunch or dinner or whatever meal I'm making. So there I just threw in some frozen quinoa that I'm breaking up right now. A little bit of corn I think it was about a half a cup of corn I used and you know I'm just mixing it all together that's it so it really doesn't have to be difficult and I can't tell you how delicious this turned out there I'm just adding a little bit of paprika this is some oregano and then some garlic powder now once again I love to stress that those are just the spices that I have a taste for but really don't be afraid to play around with it you can throw in whatever spices that you love or you think would go good together so basically I just cooked everything until it was nice and soft and ready to eat and I just kept adding water here and there as it was needed so there was no you know specific amount of water that I used when we cook with no oil you know we use water or broth in its place and you just kind of have to eyeball it and just throw a few splashes in here and there just so that things don't get too sticky or too burnt but uh, you just kind of have to eyeball it so that's all I did and here I am just topping it off with a little bit of salsa which I personally love when and I make this blend as well as some nutritional yeast now again both of those things are optional I thought that this meal tasted amazing without either of them but again it's just a preference thing I just happen to love salsa and I love nutritional yeast but I know that that is you know a, a hit or miss for some of us some of us love it and some of us hate it so of course leave it out if that is not your thing but here is my meal and honestly it was just so easy it was a few ingredients I already had on hand nothing too crazy and and here I'm just going ahead and adding a few non-starchy veggies on the side, which in this case, again, I was just keeping it really simple with some cucumber slices and cherry tomatoes. And this is my pesto sauce. I will also have that video linked in my description box below. Um, this is a very low fat, oil-free pesto sauce, which is super hard to find as we know, because normally pesto has a ton of fat in it. So anyways, I just topped those veggies off with that sauce and this was my complete lunch. I thought this tasted incredible and I'm so excited to be able to show you guys just how easy it can be to whip together really simple meals using foods in their natural state with no oil and no overt fats. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If it's your first time here, I'd love to have you stick around. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out that awesome book sale. Both my brand new books for only $10, literally less than the price of one. Link can be found in the description box below. See you in the next one.